dun, dun, dun. I present to you the Crusher, the Corda Crusher. By the time this DVD hits the shelves, this will be readily available, but I bet you're wondering what the hell it does. Now, it's got a few uses and a lot of varied uses, so let's take you through them. Right, it's got two sections, as you can see. This is the, the pushing section. This is the bit that you put your bait in. As you can see, I've already had a little play with some boily crumb just to get used to it. Right, let's put some uh, four mil halibuts into here. Don't overdo it, just, just enough to play with. But what this is going to be great for, or those of you who might go fishing just with a bag of pellets, you get down the lake, you want to use a stick mix or a different bag mix just to, to give your bait a bit more attraction. In we go, push this down, crush it down. Now listen to this, the crusher commences. Lovely, lovely, grating noise. Now check that out, absolute crushage of pellet. That looks deadly. I'm going to put that in there. So four mil, four mil pellets turned into sort of like pellet crumb, all different sizes, all different breakdowns. Absolutely superb. Put, do a few more of them just to uh, get the bait tub going. A couple of handfuls, basically, that is. Again, as you can see, I'm putting it in the inner bit, not the, not the top side. Down, crush and grind. Awesome bit of kit, much, much better than the vegetable chopper, much, much more refined, breaks things down really quickly, no messing, no blades getting caught up. It is an absolutely devastating product, this is. As you can tell, I'm really excited. So there's our little halibuts ground down. Right, the next little baby that I'm going to put in them are these wonderful, wonderful tin tigers by Bait Tech. Now, not only have they got diff you know the bigger ones in there, but they've also got these absolutely awesome tiger morsels as me and my mate Gaz Ferrum say that is a bite so I'm going to put these again in the little crusher lends itself perfectly to sort of small baits in they go and what this will do not only will it crush the tigers it will also release some of the natural sugars that are inside them giving you that sort of deadly deadly bag mix I'm also going to just put a bit of that tiger juice over the top now tigers alone straight out of a tin or straight out of your bait bucket won't be useful for going in PVA. However, by dusting them down and then pellets in a minute, they're going to be ideal. So in it goes. Listen to that, so easy to use. Chop nuts, absolutely devastating bait. You can even use a couple of these as your hook baits, you know, like a chop bit of nut, especially on short day sessions. So in they go. So we've got a little tiger and pellet bag mix here. That's, that's enough to soak in that juice off the tigers so it doesn't melt your PVA. Awesome. So let me just show you the sort of rig I'll use that on. PVA bag, let's tie one off. PVA's a bit, right, here we go. Okie dokie. Usual score, this is the big funnel web size. Again, it comes complete with a plunger like all the systems that we do, making it the all round product. So, in we go. Little bag, again, we're not trying to feed them, just trying to catch them. So, a 50p size bag is ample. Just got that in there, just twisting it down, keeping it nice and tight. By making the PVA bag tight, what you're doing is when it melts, it'll explode, giving you like a fan of bait rather than a small cluster. A lot more attractive to fish coming over the top of it. Pull that down nice and tight. Again, all the instructions to get your PVA bags tight are on the front of the, uh, the tube, so any sort of newcomers to the sport can check that out. Also, the Corda website, cover a lot of PVA stuff on there, www.corda.co.uk. So that's done, lovely little bag. And uh, I've got a KD rig here with uh, an Enterprise fake tiger nut on it. And uh, just gonna hook that on. That is a devastating little method. Perfect, few chopped tigers, a few ground down halibuts, and without the crusher, that wouldn't have been possible. The last little one I wanna show you is, uh, again, I've put one of those pre-drilled uh, halibuts on there. That's the um, 12 mil pre-drilled halibut. Lovely size, beautiful bait. Again, like I say, very, very attractive to carp. And uh, you can do a little mixture here. 
I use a few four mil ones. Nothing wrong with actually putting a few of the uh, bigger halibuts in as well, just to uh, keep the carp guessing. Small little handful. In they go. That's slightly larger than obviously the ones we ground down. Some of that bag mix. Again, twist, turn, twist the top of the bag again. Pull that nice and tight. There we go again. Same again, 50p bag size. Cut it with me, uh, razor blades. And again, you see, I've just tipped that off with one of them Enterprise um, corn hair stops. So rather than using a standard sort of hair stop or extender stop or a bit of fake plastic, that lends itself to the job perfectly. In we go. Again, another devastating method. That's going to catch you loads and loads of fish. And just to show you what the big crusher does, this has been primarily made for sort of 18 mil boilies and the bigger ones. I've got some of my cell baits in an air dry bag here. These are 14s. Take that loose tiger out of it. 14 millies cell baits. They're lovely, these cell baits. When, you, when you've got the, um, the sugars arriving, they just see how they've gone slightly white there. That's the natural sugars coming out of the bait. They're ideal in that state. In it goes, put it down. And again, you can just hear that crumble in that bait. Look, couple of turns and an absolute awesome handful of chopped boilies. So whether you're fishing over weed or margin fishing or just putting them into your spod mix, you know how popular that is in Dan's various spod mixes. Chop baits play a massive part in it. Well, as you can see, the Corda Crusher, an expertly designed product that is definitely, definitely going to put a lot more carp on the bank for you.